Hello there. You asked for it, and you shall receive it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Ellen Moses, your 22-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia, shooting his shot, baby. And yes, I am taking on the task of watching Firefly for the first time, another Joss Whedon show, right after we finished Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, when I first heard of this show, I searched it up, and then I was like, damn, this show has a 9 rating on IMDb from a couple hundred thousand reviews, and I was just like, that's one of the highest rated shows of all time. How could it end after one season? Now, I did hear this show has a massive following, so yes, hopefully new followers can come, and those of you on the channel that have already seen Firefly can get those followers to come to the channel, and let's engage in the Firefly content. Let's hope it does well so we can continue and finish off the one and only season of Firefly. So yeah, I'm excited to see. I've heard some people say this show is actually overhyped. But some people actually hype it. So yes, let's find out for ourselves. Let's have some fun. This is Firefly. It's your boy, Ellie Moses. Let's get right into it and slay this reaction. Let's go. Oh, we're, we're right into it. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, I've heard this is like a sci-fi space western, so I'm excited to see. You know, the genre mix. Let's see how well it meshes together. It's going to be interesting to see Gina Torres and Nathan Philly in this show because a lot of you guys are saying, Hey, Joss Whedon took him over from Firefly to Angel and Buffy. And I'm just like, I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm just watching Buffy first, seeing them and Buffy, and then appearing in Firefly. But I guess we'll find out. I'm getting straight away off the bat, like, Terminator vibes, if that makes sense. Like, the future war with all the plasma rifle sounds, etc. I don't know if that's a good comparison, but it is what it is. That's just what I'm feeling at the moment. And I am watching this on Disney+. Plus, um, So I don't know if the Disney Plus version is the best version, because I remember I did that with Buffy at the beginning, and a lot of you were like, no, 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 the HD remaster on Disney Plus is shocking. You gotta watch it in the original 4x3. So I'm not sure if the Disney Plus version of this is fine. I guess you guys can let me know. My guy was raining hell on that thing with that torrent. Nate's cover fire. Did you see that? Green, what's our status on him? RIP Green. Joey. I hold his family no matter what. You're gonna die. We're not gonna die. You can't die, Bendis. You know why? Because we are so very pretty. Too pretty for God to let us die. <laughs> huh? Look at that chisel jaw. Huh? Come on. God won't allow it. We're too good looking. Well, listen to me. Listen to that. The man says it's too hot. They're pulling out. We're to lay down arms. Oh, Bendis, no! Oh, we are having a six year time job. Damn. Already off the bat, I'm interested in like the world building. Who are they fighting? Who's the alliance and things like that? Obviously that'll be explained, but yeah, I think it sets it up really well. I have questions and I think that will be answered. But already off the bat, I am very curious of what's going on. Um, and that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Feels so weird seeing Western music in space. Okay, you get the goods? <laughs> We're off this rack and back on the ship. No worries. Everything looks good from here. Hey! Yes. Yes. This is a fertile land and we will thrive. We will rule over all this land and we will call it this land. 
<laughs> I think we should call it your grave. Uh, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> okay. Looking good. Captain, we got incoming Alliance cruiser bearing right down on us. To a matter. At least we have to if we're humped. If I'm at all, we're humped. Steven ain't excited. I don't like Excuse this. Me. Wash. Shut it down. Now. Everything but the air. Okay, now I can't get down. That's your problem. That, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Who are they? Captain, we're humped. Prep the ship now. I noticed. Remove these in double time. That the Kaylee, captain fire it up. and him have both spoken Chinese. Firefly class. They still make those? Illegal salvage. Low life vultures picking the flesh off the dead. Should we deploy gunships and bring her in? Do it. Ah, Palpatine vibes right there. Do it. Hang on, travelers. I'm still adjusting to the type of music for the set for the setting. That was a happening, sir. Clever we trap. Continue deployment. Yeah, gunships would never get back to us in time. All right, let's go help these people. But put out a bulletin on the cortex and flag Interpol, a firefly with possible stolen goods on board. Right. Take my love, take my land. Alan Tudyk, that's right. He was in Transformers and I believe he voices K2SO. Oh, she's in Deadpool as well. Still adjusting to the music with the setting of space and a western. <laughs> well, there we are. You're awfully pretty. I'd say worth a little risk. Yeah, that was pretty risky sitting good there. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, turn it down. Give me the PG rating back. I mean, I, my father is very influential. We could, I could arrange for you to be. Experience has been more than, it was very good. Thank you. Your time went too quickly. Well, my mom would probably rig this beat up and cheat us out of our fun. <laughs> is he part of the Alliance from that uniform? Like the editing there was very weird, but I don't know if it was meant to be like that with the music playing and them sort of discussing, I guess, post-sex um, pillow talk sort of vibes um, with him talking and him sort of like fantasizing or like being in love and asking like, you know what, I could arrange it. And then bang, quick cut, no music, um, sort of no emotional sort of intimate music there. And then it cuts to him sort of talking about the time they had. And I'm not sure if she's a prostitute or... That straight up reminds me of Coruscant right there. <laughs> Persephone. Zoe, you time I got me. GE. We will. There's gonna be something up with them speaking Chinese. It must be some sort of code thing or thing they utilize when they don't want others to overhear it or tactical? I don't know. Goods and just let me twist his neck, please. We didn't pick the cargo. And I didn't flash my ass at the Goram law. <laughs> it's no deal. Gee, and I'd be your puddle of piss refusing to pay us our wage. The good, the bad, and the firefly. Come on, give me an old fashioned shootout. You have to go this way. above you better than businessman see <laughs> roots in the community you're just a scavenger maybe i'm not a fancy gentleman like you with your very fine hat but i do business 
We're here for business. Try one of the border planets. We're a lot more desperate there. Of course, they might kill you. And you stay here, and I just know the Alliance will track you down. We'll never stop churning, Badger. That only matters to the people on the rim. <laughs> I I like the vibe of the show so far. I'm not okay. I only what am I like? Um, twenty one minutes in. Um, so far I'm still getting the gist of the world building. Um, with how everything is going, and you're getting information or little tidbits of information as it goes on. Clearly, the alliance seems like the empire of this um galaxy or universe, whatever, like whatever we're dealing with here. Um, like kind of getting Star Wars Rebels vibes here. I know that came out after, but sort of Star Wars Rebels cartoon show vibes here, where we follow a group, um, a rebel, a rebel group, um, that have all had like sort of past. I remember one of our main leads, the Captain Caleb, uh, was a Jedi, and he like he was a general in the in the war against um. The, the, the separatists and then obviously they turned into a salvage or uh rebel uh rebel group who would you know salvage uh supplies for the rebels and go on these supply run missions as well similar to what these guys are doing here um so yeah i'm getting those kind of vibes at the moment but obviously more adult uh like with the sort of interactions and the themes and it's just looks like a lot more darker and grittier than that so i'm interested to see where it goes and yeah i'm curious at the moment And, uh... Ooh. Grandpa. What's in the box? What's in the box? I never married. <laughs> I never married. I don't understand why so we're I've got... Pool of his own blood. We'd be dead. Can't get paid if we're dead. Can't get paid if you crawl away like a bitty little bug, neither. I gotta share this job. 10% of nothingness. Let me do the math here. Nothing, and then nothing. So we trying to buy our own boroughs. There's gotta be. Boros is too big. It's crawling with the lions. They could just be waiting for us. The job you have will lose speed. You got nothing saved. Taking our passengers won't help near enough. We don't get paid for this cargo. We don't have enough money to fuel the ship. So you do like Badger said? The border planets? You think of white ball. Maybe talk to patients. Sir, we don't want to deal with patients again. Why not? She shot you. Well, <laughs> yeah, she did a bit. Still. So we find somebody else. Horowitz. Listen, boy. You wouldn't touch it. You want me to go through the list? Capshaw's a brain blown. Ruvik's dead. He's dead? Tom got hit by Reavers. Burned to right down. I ain't going anywhere near Reaver territory. And people like White Fall is the safest and the closest. It's been a long time since patients shot me, and that was due to a perfectly legitimate conflict of interest. I got no <laughs> grudge. She was half that damn moon now. She I still don't think the old lady's the way. I'm not saying it won't be tricky. I like I like that conversation right there. I'm sorry to pause, but it was sort of like a nice one take scene of them walking, I guess, through the mini town or like whatever it is, the markets um, or the dock area, like of them walking one take and them talking and going through the list of clients potentially that they could that, that could buy the supplies they have. Um, and it was neat. If you're paying close attention to the dialogue, you get a gist of like sort of what's going on as well. Individuals who are sort of in the black market like that. I forgot the guy's name, the one that they just visited. Um, but yeah, it was pretty interesting. And you get a bit of backstory as well. Uh, a little fill-in to the potential character they're going to visit now in Whitefall. Um, who shot uh, Malcolm. And that was first mentioned at the beginning. And then obviously you saw um, Gina Torres' character um, say, you know, she shot you. And then she started listing other names. So you start thinking, but then they go back to the one they mentioned at the beginning. And then just before they visit, you've already got that inclination in your mind. She shot her. So there's a little bit. Of, she shot him. So there's a little bit of history there. And it was all done in one take really well. As they're walking as well throughout the, uh, throughout the sort of uh, market area. What kind of choice? Oh, what's Clark Kent doing here? Please be careful with that. Now, Simon? Simon, this is our captain. Captain Reynolds. Welcome aboard. Since when did freaking... So, guy. Okay. Matt Murdock come on this ship. Yo! <laughs> Ain't no way in the village they could find that compartment legal. Even if they were looking for it. Why not? Cuz. Cuz. <laughs> oh yeah. This is gonna go great. 
If anyone gets nosy, you know, just shoot him. Shoot him? All right. All right. <laughs> In the leg. <laughs> Now, I don't know if Joss Whedon is doing one of his role reversals here, where it's like, the character seems sus, and they don't end up being sus, like they're helping, because all this sort of ominous music and lingering shots around Simon is made, obviously, to let, let, lead the audience to believe that there's something suspicious about him, but it is Joss Whedon in the end of the day, he could divert your expectations, and he ends up being a good character. I mean, he did it with Principal Wood and Buffy um so yeah and he's done it with heaps of other characters in the buffy verse so i guess we'll find out whether simon or where his allegiances lie or what he's up to drop some medical supplies off on white ball it's a fourth moon on athens <laughs> it's a little out of our way but we should have you on boros no more than a day off schedule why do you have to pick up i honestly didn't ask <laughs> plasma insulin whatever they ain't got enough of on the border moons Guess these passages with patients ain't hurt back yet. Didn't she shoot you one time? <laughs> Everybody's making a fuss. It's gonna be interesting to see when the passengers start, you know, getting a little Oops, bit nosy. Sorry. I recognize that guy there as well next to Simon from somewhere. I just haven't clocked it yet. <laughs> I'm missing something funny. Not so funny. Ambassadors, Mao's way. She's a whore, Shepard. Oh. The term is complete. I was right. I always get those mixed up. How's <laughs> business? None of yours. <laughs> she is pretty much our ambassador. There's plenty of planets where we can let you dock without a decent companion on board. This isn't a problem for you, is it, Shepard? Oh, I... <laughs> I certainly... It's all right. I mostly keep to myself. Not the Lord's way. When I'm not whoring. Did you want to meet the rest of the bunch? Why don't you make sure they want to meet me first? I didn't like the way Mal treated. I forgot her name. So how Ambassador. Mal fell madly in love with you and wanted to take you away from all this. Just the one. <laughs> I think I'm slipping. Apologies if I don't remember every character's name. It's the first episode. All right. All right. I'm I'm trying to get to grips with the crew. Oh. There was a strawberry in the box. I was expecting Gwyneth Paltrow's head. How are you gonna violate the shepherd like that, man? You know what made me think right there with her eating the strawberry? Are fruits like a rarity then? Um, I don't know if that's just a quick question that came to my mind there. Um, obviously, is it symbolic of it? Like there being like a fruit shortage or like a crop shortage? um in the universe at the moment or in the galaxy at the moment um and she hasn't had that keela hasn't had that is it Ke keely or keela hasn't had that taste in a while and that's why her facial expressions right there showed like yeah it's something she hasn't tasted in her life or hasn't had the taste of in a while because um they haven't maybe been in contact with fruit or like because they're scavengers they haven't obviously had those type of food in a while maybe Great. Mind if I say grace? Only if you say it out loud. <laughs> you seem so young to be a doctor. You're pretty young to be a ship's mechanic. Right back and at you. <laughs> Machines just got working, so and they talked to me. Haley, that's her name. Okay. Jane. The tongue in that mouth or I was sold shut. Is there an understanding between us? You don't pay me to talk pretty. Just because Kaylee gets lubed up over some big city dance. Walk away from mean... the stable. Right now. Damn, Jane got a tongue on him. <laughs> it's actually interesting at dinner table talk here and seeing the different traits of the characters. And where they come from obviously you have book is the preacher the pastor and obviously you won't take too kindly to certain characters being on the ship like ambassador certain types of language and then there's just interesting seeing the different types of characters and their sort of reactions to things because they all have different traits personalities and they come from different backgrounds great i was just wondering what his job is on the ship just when passengers become too nosy public relations 
<laughs> what an answer. The fun's included. Very well. I expected you. <laughs> Couldn't really say the same. Your gross lecture on the wickedness of my ways. Here we go. <laughs> I brought you some supper, but if you'd prefer a lecture, I've a few very catchy ones prepped. <laughs> Sin and hellfire. <laughs> One has lepers. I think I'll pass. <laughs> but thank you for this. He's been very protective of his crew. It's odd. Why are you so fascinated by him? Because he's something of a mystery. Why are you? Because we're human are. I already give it to the production design. I know I just saw a toilet <laughs> and a sink, but in general, even when you were on the other planet before, the markets, etc., even in the ship, well, you might want to get up here. Like it's a space western, and you get the feel like it's a space western, even the way how the ship looks, the color grading on it, how rusty it is. It's a lot of like dark browns, dark greens, grays. Um, and you get that feel that the galaxy is not in a great state at the moment, and you get the feel like it is a Firefly ship. It's a um, old grade ship. It's an old class ship, and yeah, I, I like some of the production design so far. There's nothing too squeaky clean looking about this show so far, besides when you were on the Alliance ship. Um, but other than that, yeah, everything feels gritty. Uh, you get that Western feel along with the music, obviously, and you have sort of like, I think, it's the guitar and the chords, and you just get that subtle score in the background as well, which I'm adjusting to. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's not blowing my mind away, but I'm enjoying it so far. Signal. Somebody went on the cortex hail the nearest Alliance cruiser. Oh, oh great. The hill. I don't know how much got through. Again with the Chinese. Ten bucks it was Jane. That hailed the Alliance Cruiser. Get your toothpaste. No, it ain't Simon, fam. It's Jane. Are you out of your mind? Uh, just about. What'd you tell them? Tell who? Got exactly no time for games. What do they know? Got the wrong man. Thank you. Please don't be the preacher. Come on, book. Are we gonna pan to Jane at the top? Oh no, it's this guy. <laughs> Simon Tam, you are bound by law to stand down. What? Oh. The doctor. Oh. Hey. Is there, is there a reward? <laughs> on the ground. What is it, Shepard? The boy's not going anywhere, Ma Man. As I understand it, it's pretty cold outside. I not to worry. Put Lord Fauntleroy here in one of the passenger cells. He will make a peep. Get the hell away from that weapon! You seem to have crossed interplanetary borders. And you think I actually believe you're bringing medical supplies to Whitehall? <laughs> as far as I care, everyone on the ship is culpable. With me. For God's sake. You think I wouldn't shoot a shepherd? Back off! Just take the key! Get your hands off! Get the hell down! Oh, stop it! Please stop it! Hey, hey! No! Hey! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no. Don't tell me we're going to lose. Kaylee! I swear, if we lose Kaylee first episode, I'm going to... Oh. See, the shepherd is some sort of... John Wick looking at, not looking at us, but so everyone I feel like is not what it seems on this crew, and I love that. I love that. I'm not killing this man. Not right away. It's no threat. Oh, well. So glad to have a doctor on board. Please. 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 The infirmary working? Yeah, we got stuffed. To stay on course and dock for prisoner transfer. Damn. This is the worst timing possible. Zoe, change course. Help me get her up. Some great tension in that scene. Really, really Wash, well acted and written. Go for hard burn. We're running. I, I even love the camera work in that scene there. Very simple. Like, 
I'm a big fan of one takes. I'm not saying there was a one take in that scene, but like even the camera switch up when you had it um, on Gina Torres' character, I still can't remember her name, and then it spun right around back to Simon. And then in that same shot, um, Mel was in the frame as well, but then it racked focus onto Mel after Simon had finished talking. And it was all done sort of in one take, and it was really clever. So, but it's a lot of effort to, do in the th to get that right because you're panning around and then you have to maintain focus on Simon and then rack focus into um, Mel right there. And that was great, that conversation um, there as well. And there's still a lot of mystery surrounding Simon. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding Book. And there's a lot of mystery surrounding um, a few of the characters here as well. Even the characters we met at the beginning um, and even the characters that are part of our crew yet, there's still a lot to learn from them. And yeah, now it's heating up and picking up and I'm liking it. And we got a law enforcement officer, obviously, that's... Um, in ties with the alliance right there and i guess they're on the run now this is reminds me of some sort of it's not a hyperspace but it seems like, like some sort of space boost um sort of type of thing <laughs> this is over you and me are gonna have a personal chat <laughs> don't purr Oh yeah, because no. he brought something on board. I'm interested to see what it is. Stay away from that. Ah. Let's see what a man like you were killed for. Is it a passenger? Is it an object? Is it prisoner? Hmm. Alan Ripley. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gold. <laughs> it doesn't look valuable. <laughs> I need to check her vitals. She's not supposed to wake up for another week. The shock, the shock of what? Waking up? Finding out she's been sold to some border world baron? Because if you've seen one... <laughs> oh! Roberta? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. We're safe now. We're safe. We're safe. That is I'm sister? Here. This is my sister. Here we go. Going to the best night academy of Cyrus. Top 3% of my class. Finished my internship in eight months. Bam. <laughs> Gifted is the term. When I tell you that my little sister makes me look like an idiot child, I want you to understand my full meaning. Damn. River is smart, smart. River was more than gifted. She... She was a gift. Music, math, theoretical physics, even, even dance. There was nothing that didn't come as naturally to her as breathing does to us. I like you, Simon. She talked about things that never happened, jokes that... That we never. It was a code. It just said. They're hurting us. Remember what I said about Joss playing the role reversal? Get me out. That the government was. Working on her, experimenting. Playing with her brain. There we go. If I funded them, they could sneak her out and cry. I'll get her to Persephone, and from there I could take her wherever. That's. A story, son. Yeah, it's a tale of woe. Very stirring, but in the <laughs> meantime, I peeped a world of trouble on me and mine. I never thought. No, I don't imagine you thought. In consequence of which, we got a kidnapped federal officer on board. We got the Alliance hard on our trail. And Kaylee. How much does the Alliance know? I can't say. I killed the message pretty quick, so they may just have had our position. Or they might have personal profiles on each and every one of us. If Kaylee comes through, you and your sister get off the white ball. If she doesn't come through? Then you're getting off the might sooner. <laughs> That'd be murder. We made a decision. He didn't shoot her. No, but somebody else on this boat did, and I'm scratching my head as to why we ain't dealt with him. Kill a fed? Sounds like a stupid idea. Stupid idea. You want to all. throw me out the airlock? Fine, but River is not a part Can of this. Can we maybe vote on the whole murdering people issue? <laughs> we don't vote on my ship because my ship is not the running town. This home. is insanity. I happen to think no. there are ways beyond that now, sir. I've always been a very mean street. I, I don't know. Don't be a sweet. We gotta deal with what's in front of us. Then why don't you 
and she will be in white four right away. They are hyping up white four. I cannot wait to see this planet. You throw them out. I'm leaving too. Might be best you do. Oof! You need a part of this business. Captain making harsh decisions here. Not Caleb levels of prick, but prick indeed. <laughs> it might be what's best for what his crew. What business is that exactly? I already know you'd sell me out to them for a pat on the head. Hell, you should probably be working for them. You certainly fit the profile. Woo! That's the second punch, and that one packed more oomph. Saw that coming. <laughs> Imagine the preacher turns Jane into like the most religious guy. <laughs> the package that boy is carrying. It's a girl. It's cute too. Just I don't think she's all there, you know. Of course she's not all of her has to be. That girl is Wow, Jane. Body. They'll come after her. Long after you bury me, they'll be coming. Everything. They know every name, every record. They know how many nose hairs you've got. I don't know a damn thing. <laughs> it's all over your face. I ain't even kissed your face. Don't they teach you how to withstand interrogation? Can't even tell a damn lie. Okay. <laughs> I can see you're not an idiot. I wish I could say the same, Lawrence, but this is disappointing as hell. Let me speak a language you will understand. Money. This girl is worth a lot of money. I mean a lot. I don't know what you're talking about. Here we go. You don't have enough to buy your own shit. The dollar sign just went in Jane. In this piece of crap. Jane's eyes. Looks like you need a whole turn on the captain. Come on, Jane. Stand strong with the captain. Yes, it does. What did she do? That's suicide. Are we meant to be getting subtitles in the Chinese here? Because I'm not at the moment. Well, I don't know if that's because I have the closed captions on Disney+. Plus. I'm not too sure. Or is the Chinese something... I, I'm still confused about it. Is the Chinese something they learned on Earth back before, obviously, it became uh, uninhabitable or something like along the lines like that? I'm not sure. Reverse. Oh, I remember what they said about the Reavers before. They killed, like, one of their clients. They burned his whole town. I love that. Rewarding the dialogue early on. And then uh, clearly the Reavers are... People not to be messed with. Besides possible raiding party. <laughs> Could be they're headed somewhere particular. Yeah, like this one they pulled up. So everyone stay calm. Gotta love the reactions to everyone hearing readers. They'll have to chase us. <laughs> Jane bring out the John Wick arsenal. We should be passing them in a minute. The react oh it's Zoe. Zoe's Gina Torres. Okay. Never heard of Reavers? Campfire stories and the men gone savage on the edge of space killing. They're not stories. <laughs> if they take the ship, they'll rape us to death, eat our flesh, and sew our skins into their clothing. And if we're very, very lucky, they'll do it in that order. <laughs> hey, the anticipation for these Reavers already is crazy. Like the tension building up now because of the facial expressions of the characters and what Zoe just said. Great. Oh, is that like a easy way out? Nara contemplating like just quick suicide. <laughs> Maybe Joss is just gonna tease it here, and they're just gonna go past, and we get the Reaver action later on in the season. I don't think Joss wants to blow his load now. I think this is like a little teaser, just a little warning sign. They're holding course. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I think I have it in my sky. My sky. <laughs> Where are your dreams? I'm sorry, Captain. Are you okay? <laughs> Is that the meds kicking in? <laughs> I can't feel much below my belly though. Can you believe it or not? I will now, too. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Hey. Why is Kaylee so adorable? Like the way she delivers her lines. So innocent. 
See? <laughs> what are you looking after? <laughs> She's like on the biggest high. <laughs> Gotta have faith in <laughs> Please tell me she's resting and she's not dead. Standard companion immunization package. I'm not sure if it'll help in this. It won't hurt. Kira's dead. What? No, nah, man. Oh, I thought she just went to sleep, man. Ah, come on, Doc. Go do, like, some sort of revival thing on her. Come on. I'm not losing Kaylee first F. Cannot do that to me. I need Dr. Simon on site. I need the preacher on site. Say all the prayers. We're saving Kaylee. Woo! Wait, he lied to her? It's like, oh. <laughs> oh, it was a joke? Really? Nah, that is psychotic, man. That, that is psychotic. That is that is mean. How you gonna? Oh man, there is jokes and there is dark humor. That is that is, that is worse than dark humor. That is black hole humor. Come on, man. You gonna you gonna really do Simon like that? I feel sorry for Simon because I actually like Simon. Listen. I feel like he's he's remorseful for the predicament they're in at the moment. Um, but come on, Mel. That is that is next level demon time. That is savagery right there. Oh man. You you pulled that on the audience as well. Not just Simon. I'm a bad man. That's a bad you're a bad man. Yeah. Tell Drew that any spectre heal this quick. Being oh, hailed. far out. Have your patience. We're close enough for bid. Put her up. Well, we may not have parted on the best of terms. And why certain words were exchanged. Also, certain bullets that's air through the engine. <laughs> Passed. <laughs> We're business people. Then what is the sheriff's department at? I love how patience has the cowboy hat. <laughs> I left my coordinates for a rendezvous point outside of town. That woman planning to shoot me again. <laughs> she meant to pay you. She'd have haggled you down some. I get paid. It's a trap. So we don't have to deal with her. Yes, we do. Or is she her first? <laughs> it is. <laughs> There's no one else that we ain't seen. We could try our luck. Our luck? One. You notice anything particular about our luck these past few days? Any kind of pattern? Waiting for Alliance to make a buck. We tore it out to the scrap out. That ain't us. Not ever. He's the most mysterious character. Maybe it's a couple months ahead. I'm sure you're up one way or another. There's obstacles in our path, and we're going to deal with them one by one. We'll get through this. Uh oh. We will. Another predicament now. Wait till Patience sees they brought a Fed, and she probably might shoot him first. I'm actually interested, um, yeah, Mel's the most mysterious character in my opinion at the moment. Um, clearly, um, that situation in the past is going to be visited again. Um, and I'm interested to see how they explore his past and what's up with him. What's his relationship with the Alliance? Um, what are his motives? What has he lost? What has he gained? Um, yeah, he's definitely the most interesting character, the captain, in my opinion. I know I said a lot of the characters are mysterious um, and interesting. They all sort of um have their backstory they're all hiding something but i think um i think yeah mel's the one i want to find out most about every planet looks, place for an ambush. looks like yeah, a western <laughs> every planet where is the white in white for come on man <laughs> definitely glad you didn't hear me i'm standing right here they're coming through good and loud because I'm standing right here. Yeah, well, transmitters. Shepherd book. I believe you're in more danger. Oh, come on, man. Hey, hey. What, what, 
were the second and third hits. That was uncalled for. Man, it's knocked out already. Low man, you're a prick. I went from a spaceship in space to horses on a sort of plane that looks like Earth. <laughs> you gotta love it. They're just on the job, Peyton. Not interested in surprises. Yep, the snipers. There we go. Hopefully. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. I wonder if Jane took the deal from the lawman, uh, Dobson, and gave him the gave him the sort of scalp thing to cut himself with, to make it look like he escaped himself, and it's a double crossing. Damn, man! You didn't, I didn't see my cargo anywhere. Didn't think to check their cargo before blood they came off. Oh come on, Reynolds! I'm supposed to take it on faith that you got the goods. <laughs> Genuine A-grade foodstuffs, protein, vitamins, immunization supplements. One of those will feed a family for a month. Yep, that's what's up. <laughs> Look at you, all woke up. Oh, I'm sorry about what happened before, but make so much as a sound, the next one goes through your throat. Oh, shut your ass up. Come on, man. I got holding the jewel. At least half a mile. Five my first three hundred shields have been dug. Well then. I reckon patience was waiting for the shot to be taken, <laughs> and, and, she's, and she's just like, "Where is it?" <laughs> Appreciate it. Y'all turn around and ride out first. <laughs> well, you see, there's a kind of hitch. We're both made out on this deal. Don't complicate things. I got a rule. I never let go of money I don't have to. Here we go. Which is maybe why I'm running this little world and you're still on that dinky old boat <laughs> sniffing for scraps. That's the signal. Pop her in the head. The money back. Return the favor. Need for killing. You just gonna walk away, sir? Guess that's up to patience here. Should be messy. Not terribly. <laughs> Quite a rifle. Well, it must be your best shot, carry that. It's called two five. Two five. Nice hat. <laughs> oh, Zoe! Didn't think about asking the captain to drop you somewhere else. Zoe does on the deal, I always worry. So Better worry. Not out of my way. I took her. Look, we were. Oh, there's so much happening at the moment. Simon, you need to be on deck, man. Your sister's gone, but Zoe's been shot. Come on, Jake, do your thing. You're a sniper. Alright, Simon. Oh, no, no. He didn't do the superhero landing right. <laughs> One last shot, like. Zoe? Oh, the armor. Oh, no, thank you. Clutch. Well, you're right about this being a bad idea. Thanks for saying so. Now don't you take another step! <laughs> I do the job. And then I get paid. Pop her ass off. Go run your little world. They followed us. The Gorham Reavers followed us. Oh, the Reavers. Okay, maybe we're going to get a taste of what they look like. What's up with them? I thought he was going to wait for later episodes, but no. They know what they're doing. I know what you did to your sister. I understand. It doesn't make you a killer. He's a prick. Kill him. I don't want to hurt anybody. I have a job to do. To uphold the law. That's what we're talking about here. It's crazy because you see three individuals riding horses. Imagine showing this to someone first time, no context, and then bang, spaceship. Yo! <laughs> you can take her, the law won't find. 
It's your call. Hit him in the leg. Give him a warning. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I thought Simon was going to die there. They're going to pull up to the ship. I'm not playing anymore. Anybody make so much... <laughs> <laughs> that a headshot? Jay? Yeah, Mel just made a big call. No nonsense. No time wasting here. It's Reavers. He had to make that call real quick. I can't just leave you here. Oh, that was a plan. No, don't do we that. We get boarded. We take off. Head for town. We might be able to stop them from following. They'll kill you. No. Go. I want to know what the history between these two are. He's sorry. How are you doing? I don't mean to alarm anybody, but I think we're being followed. You think? <laughs> I think you think. I get, Hen I get Henry Cavill vibes from Simon a little bit. I don't know why. Wash? You gotta give me an Ivan. See what I can do. Haley, how would you feel about pulling a crazy Ivan? Always wanted to try one. <laughs> There's something you can't do. <laughs> I got that agility in my ship. The mobility of the Serenity. Oh, if those Reavers survive, um, they are going to be very, very, very angry. And I mean very, very angry. Like very. Well, I you for something. I'll add another very to that. <laughs> now, don't celebrate too early. Don't celebrate too early. They're going to be right back on your ass in a second. Ain't no way they can come around in time to follow us now. Come on, juxtaposition cup. Come on, juxtaposition. We're good, people. No, 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 no. It's Joss Whedon. We're out of the woods. It's Joss Whedon. I don't know if they're out of the woods. Yeah! Where I'm going. Keep looking in the trees. I need this man to tear all my clothes off. Hey, damn! Work, work. Work. <laughs> work, work, work. You know what it is. Just another day. <laughs> I'm surprised Joss didn't pull out a juxtaposition cut or on the dialogue with the Reavers. I don't think they're done and dusted yet, but lost lots really of mystery surrounding them. It's not so bad. I want some captains to shoot the man I swore to protect. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I think he was wrong. Shepard. Take him on the rock, Shepard. <laughs> That's that's God's will, Shepherd. That's God's will. Man, this guy doing burnouts in the street with his motorbike. I'm trying to watch Firefly. Hey, the wild man got out of his room. He doesn't tie him up so well and all. <laughs> Here we go. I didn't have nothing to do with that. Barbara said he wanted to find you. But he did try to make a deal with you, right? Yes, sir. How come you didn't build on me, Jay? Money wasn't good enough. <laughs> That's what it is. We'll see about That's that. An interesting deal. <laughs> we'll see about that if it comes eventually. Imagine it will. Jay, if you don't turn it to me, that ship could use a medic. <laughs> you ain't weak. Don't know how bright you are. Top 3%, but you ain't weak. That's not nothing. Sister from doing anything crazy. You could maybe find a place here. Hey, let's go. So find it better. How do I know you won't kill me in my sleep? <laughs> you don't. You don't know me, son, so let me explain this to you once. If I ever kill you, you'll be awake. <laughs> you'll be facing me, and you'll be armed. Play all the tricks on me. <laughs> <laughs> Had a good day. Criminals and savages. 
half the people on the ship have been shot or wounded, including yourselves, <laughs> and you're harboring known fugitives. You're still flying. That's a good day. <laughs> That's not much. And we came out with a bag as well. What a freaking G right there. We had a good day. And he just lists everything that went that wrong that day. And hey, we still had a good day. <laughs> Woo, okay. Okay, okay. Nah, I ain't gonna play the next episode yet. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't going there yet. That was the first episode of Firefly, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I liked it. I liked it. I really, really liked it. Um, I think after the first 25 minutes or so, it really picked up. Um, really intrigued with the world building. Really intrigued with the world building. I mean, we got crumbs here and there at the beginning. There's sort of payoffs after as well, even with the um situation with patients um the situation with the reavers as well um i guess joss whedon said or did what i said during the episode i'm like is he gonna blow his load with them yet but no we just got hints of them and they, they'll be back I'm, I'm guessing they'll be back they're not just done and dusted guessing we'll see them later on but then we still got the alliance to worry about obviously their decisions are going to have disastrous consequences. Des deciding to take those passengers on board, not knowing their history. Um, definitely thinking they're just normal passengers. But no, one of the passengers, Simon, was harboring um, a very prized possession in his sister, who clearly the Alliance wants. And then one of the other passengers was a law enforcement officer working for the Alliance. And then we had a preacher as well. So clearly... Um, their decisions to take on those, you know, passengers had consequences. Um, and it wasn't just a simple drop off and done with them. And yeah, they're in the predicament they in because of that decision to take on those passengers. And yeah, I like the crew. Um, I like the characters, um, the very distinct personalities. Not everyone is one dimensional. Um, even like sort of, you have Jane who can be very unpredictable with his dialogue and his tongue. I like that. Nathan Fillion, you know, he's fantastic as Mel. He's fantastic. It's been one episode. But, like, I feel like he's the captain of the ship making those choices. Then you have Zoe. Um, and then Keely. I like Keely. Um, I, I really like I think she's like, I don't know. It's just the way she delivers her dialogue. I don't know. And then Simon as well. I gravitated towards. Obviously, we'll find out more about his sister, River, um, and what the Alliance was trying to do with her. Um, there's a lot of questions to be answered and I'm curious and I'm very curious and that's what a first episode of a show should do. I'm very excited in the world building and what's to come and I think it's just a teaser as well. Um, I had a few action scenes, the music, um, the Western music mes meshing with the space sequences as well. Um, if you're in for it, you're in for it, I guess. It's not going to be for everyone, but I think I really started to, I guess, gel with the tone of the show uh, towards the end as well. Um, the mixing of the genres with the Western, you know, talk about Whitefall, and then you sort of get to a sort of normal, I guess, desert um, forest land or like sort of wasteland or like uh, like an Earth-like um uh planet right there in white four um i'm not sure if that's gonna be the gist for the entire show like is every planet gonna look like that um i hope not i hope not i hope they get a little bit creative i mean one of the planets here was a straight up coruscant planet so we had that as well the one inara was on at the beginning of the episode so clearly not clearly there's other planets that not all are sort of earth looking um but fantastic locations shooting as well um in this episode and yeah interested to see the backstory of what happened to earth clearly it's uninhabitable i don't know if i missed a few scenes of dialogue at the beginning but i'm interested to see the more of the backstory of the characters as well i think we just got enough this episode but it's fantastic how much we i guess i guess the dose of the characters this episode and what we learned about them is enough for me to be invested in them and me to want to know more and i'm very curious with the world building as well i'm very curious to see who the main villain this season is going to be or like the antagonist is it just going to be the alliance is it just going to be the reavers is it going to be a certain individual heading the alliance i'm very curious to see um yeah i've really invested in the characters um of this crew so far the serenity crew um the firefly grade class ship and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to episode one uh, definitely going to get to episode two. Um, hopefully this video does well as well. Um, but yeah, as always guys, been your boy Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.